Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar! Since last time, I cleared out all the enemies around here, so let's go grab some treasure! Starting with the starlight. We've got a lot of starlights in this area, but I would recommend that you do not use them. I mean, look at it at this point. Uh, Nash is almost out of MP. Whatever shall we do? Well, you'll see in just a moment here, but uh, for now, do not use those starlights. I think that's all the tre yeah, that's all the treasure around here. Let's go through here. Who's there? Yes, Satan? Ah, or, or the red dragon, yeah. I get them mixed up all the time. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, we're 12 years old, but we're brave enough. But anyway, so we got a healing point there, and we're all ready back to fall. But, uh, since I wanted to show that off to you, now I'm going to have to clear out all the rest of the enemies. But I've already done that, so let's just move on. This is a big area. Look at that. It took me half an hour to kill all the, en the rest of the enemies around here. Now here's a little known thing about this area. If you go up, leave the room and come back, haha, -ha, the healing point is there again. So yeah, that's an infinite healing point. I did not know that when I did my test runs for this game. But uh, yeah, it's there. So you can just infinitely heal. Uh, after you kill like everyone in this room, go back and heal. Kill everyone in the next room, go back and heal, and so on. So yeah, it's really nice. Uh, let's see, we want to give the barrier ring to Nash. And... Ah, there we go. Let's get rid of that flame ring. Don't really care much about that. And give him the barrier ring. All right, there we go. Uh, also, oh yeah, we got this wall of fire here. Just walk through it. You'll take a little bit of damage, but you'll live. And we can collect more starlights that I don't have to use. Normally, what I have to do is I have to use like six or eight starlights just to get through this area. But uh, well, I didn't realize that that was an infinite healing point. Uh, no one told me that. So... Oh, now we know. Uh, let's see. Why don't you put that... Oh. We're out of room and all. Nuts. I guess his ass just doesn't have that much room. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Well, I want to give that tiara to, uh... To Jessica there. So let's do that. There we go. Eh, it's a little better defense. Better than a sharp stick in the eye there. But anyway, uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you notice... I've gotten everyone up to level 27, and that is a very critical level for uh, getting some abilities and such there. Like, uh, at level 26, Jessica got a second attack multiplier, which is really good because of her ice mace for this area. Uh, let's see, at level 27, uh, Alex got his third attack multiplier, and that's obscene in this area, so absolutely get him up to level 27. Uh, level 25, Mia learned a new spell, uh, Power Drive, there. So yeah, or 27, she learns that, not 25. Uh, level 25, uh, Jessica learned Saint Litany, which is basically a regenerative spell, so that's pretty helpful too. Got a flame sword here, but they don't want to use that yet. Guess which dragon cave that sword is going to be useful in. And now we got the Pillar of Flames. There's some enemies in the in the flames, but I've already cleared them. And... Okay, let's go! Go, 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 go! Okay, good. We made it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put some of those uh, herbs to use. I may end up selling or dumping those herbs off screen at some point in time because, well, we're running out of room and I need to make more room for those, uh, what are those things? Uh, for the, uh, starlights and such and the, uh, healing nuts. Save those healing nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're running out of room here, so. Okay, phew, made it. Well, we're at the end of the road now. What's going on up there? Oh, hey look. Kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters. Really, game? You're going to make that reference? I thought about saying words to that effect for my cliffhanger in the last episode, but, well, I just 
I thought that would be in bad taste. So. Nuts. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You can't take on a dragon. Ha 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 Well, we can throw you into the lava down there. Uh-oh. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what are those things? Bitches, please! For boss time! Against the bronze dogs. And these guys are hard. Oh, I'm gonna make it look really easy, but these guys are hard. Okay, so first things first. Vigor. Nash use Thunder Thrust. Let's put our new Power Drive to use. You have selected Power Drive. There, you happy viewers? Let's uh, <laughs> power up Kyle there. And let's see, why don't you use Saint Litany on everyone to Check get that regenerative out. effect going. But yeah, uh, Power Drive from Mia stacks Alcina, with the uh, self-buffing abilities of Gosh. Alex and Kyle there. They're basically the same Gosh. thing between the two of them. Yeah, you see, it just self-buffs them, that's all. So, fortunately, they're not glowing. If they were glowing, we would be in trouble. But, uh, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, because if they're glowing, they attack all your party members. Please, not both of them. Damn it! Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. Now, interestingly enough, since these guys are weak to ice, uh, Alex attacking with the... Let's power up Kyle there. Alex attacking with the ice sword is actually better than using his sword dance, but Kyle doesn't have an ice elemental weapon. So let's use Calm Litany and hope that these guys don't Check kill us. Because when they're both glowing like that, holy cow, we are in trouble. Althena, lend me your power! Yeah, the Saint Litany, even though it doesn't regenerate that much HP, well, you might as well use it, but also, it's still, every little bit helps in this boss fight, because this is a hard boss fight. You'll, you'll see why now. Ow. Ow. Yeah, we can't keep up with that. Look at that, we're all in critical now. But anyway, uh, let's see, let's do that. Let's see, we're all good now. If they were close together, I'd use Ice Wall, because that deals more damage. But I'm going to have to use Blizzard since they're far apart right now. And let's heal everyone. So, yeah, I can't keep up with the healing like that. If they use that multiple times in a row, there's nothing I can do if both of them are hitting everyone. There's just no way you're going to survive that. But uh, for now, we're doing okay. Uh, just so you know, whether they are glowing or not, uh, doesn't matter as far as being weak to ice or not. It's not like... Uh, what's it? Like Kanazo in Final Fantasy IV. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Or like uh, Rubicante in Final Fantasy IV also. Yeah, doesn't matter. Whether they're glowing or not, they're still doing okay. Or they're, they're still weak to ice. So keep on going with the Thunder Thrust there. Good Blizzard. And yeah, we're pretty much going to be doing this for the remainder Check of the battle. So. Yeah, it's not like when they're not glowing, they suddenly become not Athena, weak to ice. No, no, it doesn't matter. Alright, not bad, Jessica. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey. Yes, got him! H.C. Bailey does the regenerative spell that uh, Jessica has, Satan with me. Does that stack with the regenerative effect of the healing rings? And the answer is yes. Uh, they all... De Let's use uh, the Ice King now. Yeah, all the regenerative effects stack with each other. It's not that much to begin with, but if it were a whole lot, it would probably be pretty damn abusive. So, yeah. Uh, the cumulative effect of the uh, regenerative effect, it happens all at once. It's not like... Uh, what is it? It's not like they're separate regenerative effects. It just adds them up together and heals you once every round. It just heals you for more. That's all. If only we could get more regenerative piece of equipment. 
Ow. Yeah, look at that regen. It's like 22 HP. That's a lot. I don't think I've ever seen a regenerative effect be that balanced before. I mean, usually regener HP regenerative effects are usually, like, really abusive, like Final Fantasy 7 and 9, or they're, like, really, really weak, Athena, where it's, like, not again. worth using, like, every other Final Fantasy game. Although, uh, well, Dragon Quest did a pretty good job of it, too, but even there, it's like, eh. I mean, like, the, uh, the Miracle Sword, that's always good, but, uh... But, like, the armor that regenerates your HP, eh, just not really that good. Let's see, we should almost have this guy. Athena, lend me your power! Oh, great, you only need 6 HP to get to your max. Good job, Jessica. I mean, uh, good, good. You, uh, scared them away with your healing. Yeah, I made that look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers. That fight is hard. If you're not at level 27 yet, get up to level 27. Everything has, is proceeding as I have foreseen. What does she look like? A waiter to you? Oh, well, thank you. Nuts. Well, we're the only ones who can stop her. How hard could she possibly be? Nuts. Not right now, Stripe. I'm recording. Rubbing up against my feet. And she wants her pets. But I'm going to deny her pets for right now. Okay, yeah, let's go see the Red Dragon. It's a good thing we made it here in time. Let's see what reward we're going to get for uh, finding the Red Dragon. Huh? Where'd he go? Well, he was just here a minute ago. He was healing me up and everything. What gives? Please, Mr. Red Dragon? Maybe he's invisible. Oh. That's... Yeah, they're not gonna do another huge cutscene for every single dragon. So. Ah, there it is. He, she is... Nuts. Oh, a, a female dragon. Okay, there we go. Just like, uh, Marillith. She was a snake, basically, but still. Oh, what happened 15 years ago? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, it's good that you're awake, isn't it? I wonder what awakened Quark. I guess we need a new Dragon Master now. So, uh, you gonna help me out then? Man, these dragons are pretty, uh, lame. <laughs> I mean, they're like all powerful dragons, protectors of Althena. And every time we run into one, it's just like, ugh. It's like, I, they just keel over and die. They don't do it. But what gives? Uh, whatever, I'm not seriously complaining about that. I'm just ridiculing it. But you, you would think that the dragons would, I don't know, put up more of a fight or something like that. Ooh, shiny shield. Two for four. I only got one piece of dragon equipment, though. I mean, I suppose we have the ring and the wings, but you can't really equip those, at least not right now. But anyway, okay, so we got the dragon shield. 
Uh, do you have room now? Good. Okay, uh, let's see. I think the Dragon Shield went to Nal's inventory for some reason. There we go. Okay, so let's see how good that thing is. Woo! Nice! Yeah, an increase of 10 defense? That's pretty damn good. So, alright, well there we go. Anything else on the way out? Or, uh... No? No? Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Let's save here before, uh... Exiting today. And, uh, just take the, what is it, the hot air balloon, the airship, whatever you want to call it. We'll take that with us, and then we'll head on home, and everything will be just fine. So, yeah, just warp out of there. Pretty easy. Oh, or we could go back to Iluk. I was going to say, uh, we could, well, never mind. Where do they get the speakers for this thing? Every time we get on the balloon, it uh, they play this music. Hmm. What's going on? The uh, airship, is, uh, the dialogue is progressing automatically, so I can't control this, viewers. Nuts. That doesn't look like things are going well for our party, but can we survive the trip home? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! You may want to turn down the volume, viewers. Just a fair warning. <laughs>